Hi guys, it's Daniel from Conqueror 4x4 Victoria. I wanted to show a, a few things about the 440 today because I've had loads of questions about it. And uh, I'm away with the family for a few days uh, on the grid at a caravan park and thought it would be a really good opportunity to show the versatility of the 440. So we'll start at the front, do a quick walk around and just show you our setup, warts and all. So um, this is obviously the hub of the 440. Love the storage box at the front. We keep pots and pans and all our dishwashing cloths in there. I've got to, I've got to give a big shout out to this kitchen and a few key points. One is the hot and cold water right here is great. Um, being in a caravan park, we have not had to go and use the camp kitchen. Not that we've got an issue with that, but it's nice to wash up and clean as we go. And, and the, um, the hot water system is extremely effective. Um, with the fridge freezer, everything's uh, completely accessible. Now, we've got it running as a fridge fridge at the moment. We've got a family of five, so we needed the, the full 82 litres that comes with the uh, with the van. But I do have down here a little ice box, and it's only a 13 litre ice box. Got some ice in there that'll keep um, frozen for a couple of days for drinks a little bit later. And uh, But up here, we keep the remote control for the fridge. We keep it in the car when we're towing, but it tells us what the fridge is doing. If anything goes wrong with the fridge, if we lose power, this will tell us. But it's nice to sometimes know when you're, when you're cooking away, look up here and see what the fridge is doing. Or if you want to turn it to a freezer, just click it here. You don't have to worry about finding the buttons on the unit. Um, in the pantry, I can tell you for someone who's done a lot of camping and I used to pack those massive big boxes that you buy at Bunnings, that's two, if not three boxes full of food right there. Uh, you don't have to shuffle through things. It's really easy to find stuff. And um, the other thing that was really impressive, especially in our cook up last night, is we've got the bar, of course, which is absolutely fantastic. But when the bar's up, the amount of bench space that you have here standard on the side of the road or in the caravan park's fantastic. So here you can be mixing drinks or marinating something. Here you can be chopping up the vegetables. Here you can be cooking. There someone can be cleaning up. And the whole idea of camping is coming together. So we're all in the same area. Uh, I do have to mention that the 440's also got our um, lighting in the awning. So last night we set up the table un underneath here. You turn the lighting on, the lighting turns on just from the side of the van. It's hard to see on camera, but it's a nice soft light so you even can sit down, enjoy a nice family meal with friends or with your family. And, um, and it's really good. So this is an excellent area. Um, when we walk back over to here, remembering everything that we actually have is in here. So we grabbed the bowls for breakfast this morning. We keep a couple of different cups for the kids. We also took out one of the taller drinking glasses and put in some disposable ones. That's more for if the kids meet someone and they bring them back to the site and we want to give them a drink, we can use a, a paper one, either throw it in the fire afterwards or um, recycle it. And down the bottom here, we, uh, we've got our little chopping board, but everything you need from grade up, plates, we've got our spoons all tucked away. So we can cook up an absolute storm without leaving a square metre of where we're standing right now. Um, as far as the cooker's concerned, um, the Dometic's a great system. It's got a wind block here. We've got a manual uh, kettle that we use. It blows a whistle when it's done. Uh, it's been very, very effective. And tonight we'll cook up another storm on this. It's nice not to always have to stop and get the, the barbecue out. So if we move along, um, on the ground here, we've got an Iron Man swag, and that's for, for the oldest son. The 440 sleeps four extremely comfortably, which we'll show you. Um, we've got five, so we carry a swag wherever we go. It works well on both sides. He's happy, we're happy. Kids are a bit separated and we get to enjoy a 440. So coming around, um, this is the back unit. Now we've done a couple of things here. We've got the back open at the moment and it is oodles of room inside. It's a very, very, very clever design. It's, it's, a, it, it's almost a double king at the back. It's got a really nice queen size on the, on the side. Uh, last night, two of the kids slept in there, watched a movie. Tonight, what we've got planned is that um, we're gonna bring the screen out here because it's a really nice night. It's a little bit overcast. We'll set up a few chairs and a couple of hot chocolates. Kids will sit around and watch a movie outside tonight under the stars, which I think will be nice. Um, the other thing that we've done as well is we've, we've set up the shower. So what we've done is because we are at a caravan park, I think sometimes it's just so much easier when you've got the kids just to say, listen guys, come on, jump in, have a quick shower. Um, a little bit hard to see, but if I, if I jump in here, once I fold down my little tray, I've got my shower, I can put the soap and anything I need up there, and we, we wash off the kids here, opposed to having to either send them into the um, caravan park showers, or to separate when we're in the showers, or to stop the fighting and the arguing when it's time for a shower. 
then that just simply tucks away. I'll show you in another video how easy it is to put away at the end of the day. But because we're also um, we're cleaning the kids out here, put a little rope pulley across across here, and we've also got the connection where our batwing awnings go. Great place to hang towels. So once we've cleaned our kids, I like to hang the towels just here, and then um, they dry off in the breeze. Clean kids, they can have dinner without leaving the campsite. They can watch a movie off to bed. Okay. So if we move around, we've also set up, it might be a bit hard to see in here, but as you, oh, you can see the shower cap on the side, when you're walking around, this is one of the enclosed awnings. And what we've done um, in our little trip here is we've put the walls around the side, so it's given us a bit of a private area. Kids can come out of the shower, we can close the window, they can get changed and look at the amount of room, it's enormous. But you see the storage, the very, very clever storage that we've got here as well. So what, what, what we've done in the pockets, we've put our toiletries. This is the stuff, you know, kids, it's time to brush your teeth and it's night time, everyone's tired, trying to find your toothbrush can be a pain. So all the toiletries in the pockets, my toiletries there as well, and each of us have a box. So we pull the box out, um, grab your clothes, dirty laundry basket underneath that, and it just makes life easy. This also has the same lighting system in the awning. So just press a button, it's a soft light so the kids don't get upset, we don't get upset, and you can see your way around here. Also really good on a rainy day, so if it does rain, they can sit in here and play games. Even we can bring a couple of chairs in and have a few drinks. So you can see the 440 is extremely versatile for us when we travel. Uh, in this case, on the grid, it's a piece of cake. We enjoy it, um, and we're really surprised at the amount of space and usable space that it has. So anyway, if you want to check one out, come down to Discover 4x4 or Conqueror 4x4 Victoria, and we'll show you one in the flesh. Good on you.